Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformer. Yeah, I love talking about new Transformers. Don't have them in hand, just like to chit chat. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage or, you know, snack or whatever you want to do. And let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And we got new stuff from New Supply FX. Um, I'm going to put their uh, Facebook page in the description. And uh, it looks like they made some kits for the MMC uh, Rumble and Frenzy, complete with airbrush smoke effects. And uh, you can pre order today. Uh, like I said, I'll put their, um, you know, their link to their Facebook page. They got other stuff too as well. You can order from them. And uh, these look pretty cool. They really do. I like them. And uh, they be, go great with your uh, Rumble and Frenzy from uh, Mastermind Creations. So there you go. New Supply FX. And they got new stuff for uh, Rumble and Frenzy. All right. Moving on to third party Legends news. And uh, we got a little update on this Balan. Uh, Baylin, I think, or Balan, I think is what it's called, Bad Toys. Uh, they're making, I think his name is Commander, I think, but they're making a, a Legend Scale Optimus Prime in the Bayverse. Uh, now, I've shown this a couple times, uh, but it looks like they updated us some more uh, new picks with the uh, alt mode. And also, you can carry all the weapons, which the hooks look really silly. I don't know why you can do that. If you want to do that, I mean, I'm sure people will, but if you don't, you know, it just looks kind of silly with the hooks sticking out of the side of the uh, truck mode. But you can carry the, you know, the swords and the, you know, the guns and everything. And it does show you got extra hands and everything. So that's that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is from Bad Toys. I think they named it Commander or something. I don't know for sure, but um, it looks like we got some new picks of the alt mode and you can carry the weapons. So there you go. And it looks like we got some new render picks from Dr. Woo Woo Woo. Uh, this is Extreme Warfare. This is their Metroplex. Now I know they showed off the uh, some um, renders of their Omega, uh, which was only in Q mode, but now they're moving on to Metroplex. So we get to see him in his bot mode, the front and the back, his little base mode and his little uh, alt, you know, carrier mode, I guess, or vehicle mode. And um, looks pretty cool. I love, love the Triptychon. So uh, definitely looking forward to Omega and Metroplex as well. I'm sure they may probably do Fort Max maybe. I don't know for sure, but uh, I'm liking the little bases. They're pretty cool. So this is Dr. Woo Woo Woo. And this is Extreme Warfare. This is Metroplex. Get my collection. And we got some new images from Romance Workshops products. This was displayed at Wonderfest 2023 in Shanghai. I think this was last weekend. And uh, we get some weird, I think these are legend scale. I think they are, but we get some weird stuff, man. It's like a crab uh, and everything. I think I have this on uh, pre order with Show Z. And then we got this kind of a, a triple head wolf uh, squid thing. And it looks, that's wild. Hey, there's some wild stuff and everything, but I'm going to get them. They look pretty freaking awesome, but they just look weird. Uh, but yeah, this is Romance Workshop. I guess it's a new company. I'd never really heard of them. Um, but, you know, they show some pretty wild stuff. So there you go. This is Romance Workshop. And this was at Wonderfest 2023 in Shanghai. And uh, yeah, get my collection. Some weird stuff. All right, moving on to third party MP news. So uh, last Tuesday, I showed you that little teaser from Fans Hobby. And here's what they're going to go to. So this is for the MB08. This is their double evil or overlord. And it looks like they get new backpacks for the Power Master. So I guess it more looks like a, a motor now, I guess. I don't know really what they're for, but it's just, uh, it says Fans Hobby backpack teasers. And uh, there it looks like, yes, yeah, so there's going to go on the back of the uh, little Power Master. So I guess they look more like uh, motors or something. I don't know. But um, hopefully I'll get more information. And once I do, or if anybody else knows some more information about this, definitely hit me in the comments. But um, yeah, I'll put it out once I find it. So this is uh, new backpacks for the uh, MB08. This is their Overlord and uh, their you know, our double evil and uh, getting new backpacks. And we got some new test shots from Fan Fans Hobby. This is MB22. This is the shuttle mode for, and also the MB20 X load. Uh, so we got Jetfire and Overload. And we can see that Overload is going to be able to carry Jetfire. And we also see uh, Jetfire's Minicon, which is cool. I love when they all come with Minicons. And uh, this looks good. Yeah, I've seen, you know, I've seen it, you know, several times, and I'm really, really excited for this. Can't wait to get both of these. So this is a test shot of the shuttle mode for MB22. This is their Jetfire, and also MB20 X load. This is their overload. Awesome. Can't wait to get my collection. And we got some new picks from Metagate. This is G05 Red Fantasy. This is their Shatter from the uh, Bumblebee movie. And it shows the, uh, we've already seen the alt modes, uh, the car and the uh, plane mode. And now we get a different uh, pick of the uh, bot mode. And uh, I just don't know how this thing's gonna transform. Where are the wings gonna go in car mode? Maybe underneath? 
I don't know, but this is going to be some wild, wild transformation. But yeah, this is Medigate. This is G05 Red Fantasy. This is their Shatter from Bumblebee movie. All right, up next we got X Transbots, and we got MX-46 Big Load, and uh, this is their you know version of uh, Long Haul from the Constructicons. And uh, we got some robot picks. We also have the alt mode picks, and we also have the combined mode picks. So. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. I forgot that his his uh, helmet was uh, white, or his you know whole head scope was white in the. Uh, but I had to look at the tune p uh, pictures, and uh, it is true. So yeah, it is very tuned. It looks really good to be honest. I really like the bot mode. It looks really nice. The alt mode looks good. Uh, combine mode. I mean, I have Toy World's one, you know, and I'm happy with that one. But man, looking at this one. Ah, it looks pretty good. I don't know. I may have to get it, but we'll see. I don't know for sure. But I really wish they would finish off Defensor, uh, their Protective Bots. Uh, we haven't got anything. We got two of them, I think. And uh, yeah, they still haven't finished those. And now this one looks almost, you know, ready to come out. Uh, so are they going to start putting out the Constructicons with their uh, Protective Bots? I, I really wish they finish off their, uh, you know, Defensor, but We'll see. But yeah, a bunch of new stuff from uh, X-Trans Bots. This is a uh, big load uh, or their long haul. And yeah get my collection all right moving on to official transformer news we got some new picks from super 7 reaction halloween optimus prime all right so this is a special halloween redeco of the reaction optimus prime uh looks like uh, halloween on halloween say trick or treat he surely says truck or treat uh to 3.75 or uh, scale and articulated transformer reaction figure of Optimus Prime depicts the uh, Autobot leader looking festival for Halloween in orange, yellow, and black uh, colorway with color coordinated iron blaster or ion blaster accessory. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's orange and black, and there you go. If you like Halloween, you like Optimus Prime, you like Super Seven. Here you go. All right, we got some new images from Machi Bots. Uh, Transformer Plush Wave 2 Megatron and Seekers revealed. We've previously seen uh, Wave 1 of uh, these cute chibi style uh, plush characters some weeks ago. Now during the uh, uh, Transformers Beast Wars and Beast Wars 2 special screening in Japan, there were some products on exhibit at the venue. And we get to see uh, Wave 2 Megatron, Shattered Glass Megatron, Starscream, Skywarp, and Thundercracker. No concrete information on the re release date or prices or anything like that, uh, but they should be on the Ami Ami uh, Asia exclusive uh, site. So if you want to go there, you know, definitely check these out. So if you like plushes, this is Wave 2 Megatron and Seekers revealed. All right, looks like Hasbro applies for several Transformer 1 trademarks. Uh, so they apply for several uh, related trademarks to the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Uh, we got some numbers and short descriptions. I'm, I'm going to put them in the description, not to read it off, but it's mainly just names and stuff and production and all that stuff. But based on the above, Hasbro plans to release the upcoming animated movie along with toys, video games, and uh, publications such as comic books. So also confirms that Transformers 1 is going to be a finalized title for the movie. So like I said, I'll put the uh, what they did uh, in the description. You can read that. And it looks like, yeah, they applied for some uh, trademarks. So we're definitely getting closer to a you know animated movie. Can't wait. And we get our first new Beast Wars SD action figures by Chinese company Tor, Toy Tour. Uh, Toy Tour has previously released some of the Rise of the Beast SD figures, and now they are bringing a new collection of super deformed or chibi versions of Beast Wars characters Cheetor, Black Arachnia, Rat Trap, Waspinator, Rhinox, also with a Siri face variant gray prototype, and Megatron, also a smiley face very, uh, with his variant with his duck. Uh, we had no really concrete information on the size or the price or release date yet, uh, but once I get that information, I'll definitely put that out. So there you go Transformers Toy Tour SD action figures from Beast Wars. So it looks like Legacy Wave 7 Voyager and Studio Series Wave 21 Deluxe and Voyagers and Commander Ultra Magnus are out in Canada. So uh, happy hunting at GameStop. So it looks like we're getting a 40th anniversary Generation 1 Retro Blaster and Soundwave. So uh, we got new Walmart listings for what seems to be Transformers 40th Anniversary Generation 1 Retro Packaging Blaster and Soundwave sets. Blaster is coming with Steel Jaw, while Soundwave has Laser Beak and Ravage, which he should have got two as well, Blaster should have. But uh, picks are small at the amount, but more details should pop up pretty soon. And uh, so yeah, pretty cool. If you missed out on these uh, for the 15th thousand time, here's your chance to get a blaster and a sound wave in the retro, which I do like the box. It looks pretty cool with the 40th anniversary. That looks pretty cool. Uh, but there you go. That's a retro blaster and sound wave. Oh, there's a little update with the uh, sound wave and blaster. There will be, you know, Walmart exclusives and they're going to be $45 each. Golly. So yeah, just a little update there that I found. And we got some official images of the Takara Tomy Transformers Beast Wars BWVS08 Phantom uh, uh, Confrontation. Uh, looks like between the Ghost of Starscream and Waspinator. 
And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. So this uh, consists of a clear version of the Earthrise Starscream mold with a new redeco of the Kingdom Waspinator as well. Scheduled to be released in March of 2024. I showed these last uh, on uh, Tuesday. Uh, it's kind of weird that the uh, forearms or most of the arms are not uh, clear. So is it like transisting or, well, I can't remember the Earthrise mold, but is it, was it weak or something there? So I forgot, I forgot the elbow and everything. But yeah, that's mainly the, everything is clear except for that. And uh, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, new deco with the uh, Wasp Air looks really good. I'm definitely in for this set. I love Starscream and I love clear stuff. So definitely get this. So there you go. This is uh, Beast Wars uh, Ghost of Starscream versus Waspinator. And we also got official image of the three pack with the new Takara Tomy Transformers Dramatic Catcher series, Nemesis Bridge with Shockwave, Megatron, and Soundwave. So we got Sieve Shockwave without his armor parts and without the cartoon accurate clean deco. And or we had the with a cartoon accurate clean deco, so you won't have the battle damage. Earthrise Megatron, new cartoon accurate uh, clean deco as well. Warp Cybertron Netflix Soundwave, a new premium deco, seems to have covered all gray parts with silver paint uh, and also comes with laser beak. And you also get Megatron's throne, same accessory that was in the uh, leader class Starscream as well. Uh, this price is going to be $111 and planned to be released of March 2024. So there you go. Good stuff from, uh, this is Takara Tomy. This is the Dramatic Capture Series, Nemesis Bridge, Shockwave Megatron, and Soundwave. And we also got some official images from Takara Legacy United Voyager Silver Boat. This small handful of images give us a good look at the figure's robot and winged wolf modes, along with the accessories and some poses. He is looking very impressive and should fit right in with the other Kingdom Legacy Beast War um, figures and everything. So yeah, this looks pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad we're getting a silver boat. It does look like he does have some waffles, but yeah, I'm used to it. So there you go. And the wings look kind of small in wolf mode, but yeah, that's fine. It's kind of accurate to the uh, bot mode. So uh, that's where I'll probably be at anyways. So there you go. That is Takara Legacy United Voyager Silver Bolt. And we also got some new images from Takara. It's told me uh, this is the Studio Series SS122 Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. I think this is the, was this the Bumblebee? Uh, 102 one that was at Target that everybody was trying to get and everything. I think this is their version of the Takar version and everything. So it uh, looks pretty good. Um, I like it. I love the box. It looks really nice and uh, both modes look really good. So this is a uh, Takara Studio Series SS122 Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime. And it looks like we got some new Transformers content from Brand Licensing's European or Europe Expo 2023. So the Brand Licensing Europe Expo is in full swings these days. And uh, it looks like they got a highlight of a booth as a VR game based on the infamous Ghost Training Room from Transformers Earthspark Season 1, Episode 20, Disarmed. Other than that, there were several licensed merchandise, uh, merchandise including the recently announced Transformers uh, Bobby Abla, uh, Bobby Abla collaboration. I think that was close, I think, um, if I remember correctly. I think I put it in one of them. Uh, while Earthspark was the main attraction, several products from the Transformer Rise of the Beast were also available on the show floor. Uh, so I'm gonna show some images. So yeah, there you go. There's this Transformers content from Brand Licensing's Europe Expo 2023. And we got some new stuff from Transformers X Irregular Choice Clothing Line Details. Hasbro sent through word on new Transformer themed clothing uh, crossover, this time with UK manufacturers Irregular Choice. Uh, and all of this will be about 27 piece collection, but right now we get info and pics of two pairs of boots and two bags. Uh, all of very colorful, uh, colorful, unique versions, which fully incorporate Transformers into their design. Uh, so yeah, this looks wild. Those boots are wild. So there you go. Transformers X Irregular Choice Clothing Line details are coming soon. All right. And we got new picks from Queen Studios. This is Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal statue. This is a limited edition of 99 units worldwide. Optimus Primal has been sculpted in its gorilla mode in a jumping pose with a detailed jungle base. The statue is about 82 centimeters tall and licensed only for Hong Kong, Taiwan, and uh, Mako, Macau, I think. It's planned for release to be third quarter of 2024. And uh, this thing looks freaking awesome. I wish we had a chance to get this. I'm sure if you want to get over on eBay or something, maybe you can get this, but man, this thing looks freaking awesome. So this is Queen Studios Transformers Rise of the Beast Optimus Primal Statue. Man, I wish I could get this in my collection. And also at Wonderfest 2023 in Shanghai, China, there was also a Flames Toys display as well. And uh, they showed off some really cool stuff. You got Windblade, RC, Soundwave, you got the Leo Convoy, uh, Shockwave, you got the Megatron, uh, looks like Bludgeon as well. So really nice done. I think this is the model kit, so the one you can build. 
and uh, they look really good. I like them. They look really nice. So this was a display at Wonderfest 2023 in Shanghai, and this is Flames Toys, and this was their little model kits they have, and yeah, they look really nice, especially that bludgeon. It looks freaking awesome. All right, last thing we're going to talk about, official images of Transformers Masterpiece Beast Wars MP59 Rhinox. And this is a professional, these are like I said, promotional images. We have a closer look at the packaging, robot mode compared with his original G1 CGI model with twin uh, chain guns, uh, compatibility with uh, MP Cheetor gun as seen in the show. As, see, as seen in the show, uh, other accessories and his angry face. To top it off, we have extra images of Beast Mode from different angles and showing off his posability head and opening mouth. Rhinox planned to be released of June 24, 2024, and will be about $235.71. Golly, that old mode looks really goofy. I know it's accurate, but man, he just looks really, hey, which way did he go, George? Uh, kind of goofy, but I do love the bot mode. I love his guns. Uh, the paint looks pretty freaking awesome on this. So I'm, yeah, I'm probably gonna get this because I had the other ones. I had to get this guy. So there you go. We got some new images from Masterpiece Beast Wars MP59 Rhinox, and he'll be coming out next year. Can't wait. All right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And as always, jam-packed full of great stuff. My MP Ronox looks really good. Uh, I'm loving that uh, Ghost Star Scream and the uh, Wasp Veneer looks awesome as well. Uh, Legends is always just exciting. You know, we got some new uh, stuff from X-Transbots, Fans Hobby. Just a great time to be a collector. You know what? Come on now. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It all helps out the channel. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me you're excited for any of this stuff. And I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell freaking Transformers. And good night.